Welcome back, my name is Jimmy and I hope you've had a wonderful holiday and can enjoy New Year's Eve. Just don't freeze in the cold. Speaking of, today I'm recreating Pinterest It Girl winter outfits, but I'm making them actually wearable for the cold winter weather some of us are having. Without further ado, let us begin, and Happy New Year! For the first outfit inspiration, we have leather coats with fur lining. I don't have a fur coat, so we're gonna get creative with the layering, using this heat tech turtleneck paired with jeans as our base. I'm adding Doc Martens, which are great for the winter since they're pretty weatherproof. My only leather jacket is very thin, so in order to mimic the look, I'm layering a turtleneck sweater on top of the heat tech one for extra warmth. Now the jacket won't be as cold, and as a cherry on top, we have this thick long scarf I've somehow managed to keep around for the last six years. Overall, apart from the coat, I'd say this is a pretty accurate wearable version. Add a beanie or gloves for extra warmth. The second outfit in spell is based on the generic puffer coat style, often worn with leggings or sweatpants. I wanted to also mention that there is a ballet core version of this look floating around, and trust me, if I had the wallet for it, I'd invest in it, apart from the Uggs because the Uggs are very impractical in wet snow. Trust me, I'm from Finland. Anyways, this time I'm adding skin-toned fleece-lined leggings underneath everything else. They're very warm and comfy. You can also instead just use black fleece-lined leggings, but being able to choose the color tights on top of the leggings offers me more flexibility in my styling choices, which is why I prefer them. The turtleneck with the leggings is a great base layer combo. Now I'm just adding my workout leggings on top and socks for extra warmth. For some reason, the style is to layer white socks on top of the leggings, but I also want to add some leg warmers for a cute effect. The sneakers are of course a must, and we complete it with this black puffer jacket. I included earmuffs to add some extra warmth, and optionally you could add some mittens with a warm lining for that last boost. I did try to include this cute tote bag, but I forgot to put something in there and so it turned out to be more of a hindrance, as you can tell. The highlight of this inspiration is leather pants, surprise, surprise! For my base layer, I'm using a white button-up and the leather pants. Like the examples, I'm pairing the button-up with a sweater and as a bonus, I'm adding a jacket and a beanie. Yes, it's a Veda Bremen beanie. Don't ask me. I think depending on your choice of sweater, this could be a very edgy or soft look, but on the warmer side, nonetheless. The next trendy inspiration is the wide leg pants paired with an oversized sweater. If you haven't already noticed, the common theme in this video is that I don't, in fact, own any cute sweaters in neutral colors. For the base, we're using the flared pants with a sweatshirt. You can add a turtleneck under for extra warmth. Since this look is pretty laid back to begin with, I'm adding in some white sneakers and a long coat. Overall, this is a pretty chill outfit and practical too, especially if you added some mittens and a beanie. The fifth outfit is focused on fuzzy sweaters and coats. Once again, I'm using the fleece-lined leggings, and I'm pairing them with a fuzzy oversized sweater. Adding the tights and skirt on top, I'm tying it into some cutesy elements. As if this wasn't cute enough already, <laughs> I'm completing the look with beige boots and this kind of interesting bear scarf thing. I don't know what to call it, but even Jenny from Blackpink has worn one of these, and if Jenny can wear it, so can I. And of course my bag of choice matches the vibes. This outfit doesn't look warm, but it's pretty warm and would be toasting if you put a heat tech turtleneck underneath the sweater. Up next is my favorite category, which is sweater vests. Yay! I personally love to pair mine with tennis skirts and ankle or knee length boots. I'm starting off with a simple black and white base layer. The fleece line leggings are a good addition to this outfit as well, and you can recreate this look in so many ways via mixing and matching. I'm adding the Argyle sweater vest as the main piece and then popping on some knee-high boots. Of course, it's too cold to wear out like this, so I'm topping it off with a padded coat and earmuffs. This is a very cute look that you could keep adding more warmth to pretty seamlessly. As a cherry on top, I'm including my adorable Snork Maiden, aka Niskunathi mittens. I love this little detail in the mittens, it makes the whole outfit look oh so adorable and colorful. Keeping it simple and keeping up with the Kardashians, this outfit inspiration is based on fur coats as the centerpiece. I'm not sure what Kendall is wearing underneath her coat, so I opted for a sparkly dress to match the vibes of the season. Like the example, I'm pairing it with knee-high boots and adding a heavy fur coat on top. You can add gloves for extra warmth and the earmuffs too if you wanted to. 
Okay, I know I already covered puffer jackets, but I'm in love with some of these light toned outfits I'm seeing, especially beige and light browns. So I want to style something according to that. As the base layer, we have a turtleneck, pants, and socks. Because the only light coat I have in this color is very thin, I need to add more layers before putting it on. This fuzzy cardigan does the job really well. As a final touch, I'm accessorizing with the same scarf and earmuffs from earlier. And we're done! I hope you have a wonderful new year, let me know how you would like to dress for the winter weather, and I'll see you next year.